morning, my name is Megan and I am coming to you from Sokcho, South Korea. I'm excited to join you today and hopefully share a little bit about my life in this town um, and a little bit about where I'm from and, and how I got here. So to give you an idea of where I am, this is the entire Korean peninsula. Uh, and here I am in Sokcho, this is the DMZ, and over here is Seoul. I'm about two and a half hours from Seoul. So I was born and raised in South Carolina. I went to the University of South Carolina and I studied journalism. Um, I really am excited to share with you because I'm a little different from your regular TEPL story. I didn't graduate and go directly into teaching English. I uh, graduated and then I worked for about five years in marketing and sales uh, and then I, I really wanted to teach. I've always kind of wanted to teach and I love travel so I did my ITA certification online so I could continue working full time. Okay, so I am starting my second year now. I just started my second contract two weeks ago in Sokcho. Uh, I was here for a year, same school, same everything. Um, and prior to moving to Korea, I lived in Morocco for a year teaching English in Rabat. Okay, last tidbit about me and then we're gonna head off to school. I work uh, for EPIC, which is the public school program here in Korea. You're gonna hear about two types. There's EPIC, which is what I do, public school, or Hagwon, which is a private academy. You will see both if you're looking into Korea. teach at an all boys middle school and this is one of my English classrooms. This is not common. I'm actually pretty lucky to have my own class. So as I mentioned in my last post, I teach at an all boys middle school. Um, it's a little crazy but it's usually pretty fun. Um, most All of my classes are 45 minutes each and today I have a long day with five classes. So I will try to check back in when I can. So EPIC is the public school jobs in South Korea. You have to apply directly through the um, program or through a recruiter for the program and you have to be really open to where you will be placed. Lunch is an hour and the kids normally come outside um, and play soccer. As you saw, there's actually a tournament happening um, or they play basketball or badminton or whatever they want um, or they just hang out in their home classrooms and I like to sit outside when it's this nice. Okay, super sorry that I'm just now talking to you. Um, I went downtown with dinner and then ended up having to go uh, help clean up at a friend's bar where he let me have my 30th birthday party last Saturday. So I'm here now and I'm gonna help answer some questions. So I was pretty concerned about gyms when I was coming to Korea and looking at Korea um, because weightlifting is something that I got into like maybe four years ago and it's my favorite type of exercise and I wasn't sure if it was possible for me to continue doing it here. And the answer is Koreans value movement and there are lots of exercise parks here, um, plenty of places to run, there's pools. Um, in my gym I found, took me a while, but I even found a, a weightlifting friendly gym in my small town. So it's possible. Another thing people want to consider when they move to a small town is if they want to get a car. Um, I'm perfectly fine with that one. Would have been nice today when I had to carry all that stuff, um, but I'm okay with that one. The buses and taxis take me everywhere, but I have friends who have them here too and it's very convenient. Uh, to talk about EPIC a little bit more, uh, I told you you have to be open because you won't know where you're going to get placed. You can ask for a particular province, um, but you'll just, you'll kind of get put wherever they tell you to. And you have to decide if that's something you want. Um, a reason that I stayed in Sokcho for a second year is because I'm in love with this town. Uh, you saw a little bit of the mountains, they're gorgeous. We're right on a beautiful beach and we have two lakes. It is a stunning town and the community here is incredible, so I loved it and stayed. Well, that's it. 
Um, I'm about to go to bed. I hope that I gave you a good idea of what a regular day in Sokcho is like. Uh, just working 9 to 5 and then going to the gym and having dinner and coming home. Okay, well, feel free to shoot me any more questions that you may have. And um, it was a pleasure sharing my day with you, and I hope it was helpful. And I hope you have a great rest of your day or evening or wherever you are in the world. Thank you again for letting me share with you. Bye.